It has been two months since I revived this Trojan T105 6 volt 120 amp hour battery that I got off the recycling skid, and it has been having this battery desulfator on it for two months. Last time when we did the discharge test, it had 52.9, let's just say 53 amp hours of capacity. Now let's bring it outside, charge it up, and see if the two months of desulfating has increased the amp hour capacity at all. Okay, dokie, so the voltage is at 5.74 volts. That's actually a lot higher than when I first got it, I think. It's not bad since I haven't charged it in about a month. And bring the voltage. Start charging it. That's feeding in one amp of current right now. And it's, it's not going up in voltage very much from that one amp, so that's good. It's meaning that it doesn't have to have a very big vol voltage difference in order to take up one amp. Let's let that sit. And I'll change the voltage so it'll stop at... 7 volts. So it'll limit 1 amp and it'll limit to 7 volts. Oh, I almost forgot to look inside there. Here's inside cell number 1. You can see there's a little bit of light coming in through the white plastic on the side because whenever I, f I cleaned it in the last video, or, or in the first installment of this video, I brushed off a lot of the paint, and so the light can, can get through the plastic. Cell number two, looking okay also. A little bit of white, that I believe that's sulfation. So my universal power supply was a little bit too slow. I started charging it with my regular charger, I'm charging at 15 amps, and it's taking 15 amps to get up to 7 volts. So, it's been charging for about 12 hours at 15 amps, and it's, that's more than enough for now. Let's do the next discharge test to see how much the desulfation circuit has helped, or if at all. So now it's finally time to see if this Whizbang Plus cheap crappy desulfator has ha helped it at all. The voltage has gone down to 6.07 volts. I let it sit for about an hour. And let's start off the discharge test. So it's been about two and a half days now and the voltage is down to 5.70 volts. And the test has concluded. And the results are in. It has 53.5 amp hours. So pretty much that is a negative result because it's only, it's only increased 600 milliamp hours over the last test. And that could be just from the, the natural variations in different charges. Like this time I could have happened to charge it more than I did last time. But, the thing is though, it's not all desulfators. So, it's only the weak ones and the cheap ones like the Whizbang Plus model BD12. So, that's one count against desulfators. I'll continue the tests though, and try different desulfators and maybe build my own. And then we'll, after several tests, if, they, if they're all failed, then we can say for sure that desulfators don't work. But as for now, it's looking very shaky, but there still might be a chance that they do work. Just don't buy the Whizbang Plus for $20. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!